get your water ready. As you can see, our fire is extremely well and professionally built with sticks and leaves. Deer here is going to attempt to light it with a match. Even though most people don't have that when they go in their backyard, we have it anyway. And nothing happened. Wait, wait. There's a spark. Deer, I just have one question. Yeah. Why did we start a fire and it's 95 degrees outside? I want to see stuff get on fire. Right. It hasn't even started yet. Let's start. Well, we don't want to burn down the entire forest. It won't. It's probably the worst fire that's ever been known to man. You want to do... It? Wait! Don't! Organizer, hold on. It's not going to light. My phone's ringing. Look at that. Hello? Well, we got some sort of uh, fire going. We got a fire going, but it sucked. Yeah, there's a trail. So, uh, okay. we're just going to give up. Alright, bye. And Bear definitely had a point. It is definitely way too hot for this, so... Why must my mother call me all the time? She doesn't know I can survive my own backyard? Technically, it's my backyard. And no, you can't. So, uh, there's our fire. It, uh... Started. We actually got going there for a second, and he's gonna shoot it. That sucked. And we are done. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Now we need to show you how to. Uh, With no. Johnny Tangerine Gasificata water. All right. Well, that's good enough. Stomp out everything. Don't want there to be any chance. So, so we've been walking for about an hour now. Okay, I just totally lied. Maybe like 0.285 seconds. We're gonna follow this Inca trail up back to the house. Hopefully that will be. Uh, three years ago, seven hikers were walking out in this very particular backyard. They fell in a giant hole. They didn't know what it was. But to show you how to survive, I'll now throw deer in there and laugh at him while he struggles to get out. Are you ready? To Go. Ah! Alright, boys and girls, if you watching this, my great, 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 great ancestors used to hunt in these woods. The wild caribou. Thought it was an alpaca. Well, you see, technically it's also an alpaca because they mix breeded alpaca style. We're hunting one right now. Normally, you would use some sort of pistol, some sort of like bow arrow spear, but I'm using a Smith and Weston regulated pistol. Now, uh, got it. It looks mad. Uh, bear. We we better run. I am, I'm deer, remember? You know what, I don't care. Just run! <laughs> ah! <laughs> that back on us! Oh, girls. We are walking along this path, but it's actually where a giant herd of wild pygmy buffalo came through. You can tell by the fresh markings on the ground, all to chalk, all chalk. So, we're going to follow this path and hopefully find a herd of wild buffalo pygmies or pygmy buffalo, whichever one you want. Can you crumpets anyone? Now this over here is the natural habitat for pygmy buffaloes. It looks deserted right now. We might be able to find some droppings. Now normally, on a normal occasion, I wouldn't eat pygmy droppings. But because I have no other food and, but, and I'm extremely hungry, I would attempt to eat it anyway. Even though it has no nourishment value at all, I can just go home and tell my mom I ate pygmy poop. So, here we go. Nice and bitter, Jeremy, eating horse jerky while you do that. Sucker. 
A deer there seems to be eating some horse turkey, which is probably the most disgusting food in the entire world. I'm not the one coughing up my spleen, now am I? True.